Hello YouTubers, back down the old tiny shed, all you brew lovers and all you beer lovers. Today we're gonna do the Geordie, the Geordie Lager. Now Kit and Kilo, we've done this uh, a few weeks ago and uh, I'm gonna crack into one of the bottles of the Geordie Lager. See how she come out, ready? Hey. Right, let's get my glasses out and see. The Georgie Lug. Geordie Lug. Keep saying it, Rob. Right, let's pour out. Kitten Kilo. Easy brew. Anyone can do this one. See how she come out. Looking pretty good. Just watch how you pour. Get the bits. There we go. Wallop. So it's all you got left. Bit of sediment. Sediment in the bottle. Look, you can see it all there. That's the way to do it. Look at that. Beautiful looking lager. Kitten Kilo, easy as you like. Let's have a little sniff, but it's a, it's a lager. Smells a bit own brewy. Smells a bit um, bready, like a yeasty smell. But it's looking good, it's pretty clear, plenty of bubbles here. Anyway, let's crack in. I tell you, that's not bad at all. That's a cracking lager. Very, very nice. It's very, very busy though. Slightly over carved, I reckon. Maybe just half of one of them ones. Smells slightly yeasty. not bad at all. It's not a bad lager at all. Anyway, that's that one. So if you want to do that one as your first brew, give it a go. It ain't bad at all. Right, the next two beers, let's get over there, are from Aldi. I was in Aldi's Anti-establishment, this one, an IPA, 5.6, and it's brewed in Scotland. Brewed in Scotland. Anti-establishment, easy me to say. It's got the old sign there. In Aldi's, uh, £1.49, I think, no. One pound seventy nine P per can. Now this one's five point six. And this one is six point five. Anyway, I'll talk about the other one in a minute. Anyway, let's crack into this one. See what she's like. One pound seventy nine in Aldi's. I think they're copying the old brew dog beers. Look very much alike. When I first see the can, I thought it was theirs. But uh, yeah, it's the old can. Very nice. Oh, it's very fruity. S 
smells like a a bulldog beer. That's definitely Brew Dogs IPA. How it used to taste. Well, it was nice. Tastes very oppy. It's definitely got cascading ops in that. Amarillo, I reckon. It's a very good beer. Now that ain't bad at all. If you like an ice IPA, get that one. Very nice. Anyway, the other beer, Memph Memphis Blood. Memphis Blood. It's called IPA. 6.5. It's supposed to be grapefruit infused. 6. Point, oh, 6.5, sorry. Memphis Blood. And that's what it is. Brewed in Scotland again. Costs the exact same as that one. I'm going to crack into this one. See how this one is. But that one is just like Brew Dog. Their IPA they used to have used to be very nice, and that tastes how it used to taste. Right, let's crack this one open. 6.5. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Exact same price. Here we go. Mm, nice. There's the can. Let's have a little sniff that. Oh yeah, grapefruit definitely. Mintford's, Mintford blood. Anyway. Oh, very fruity. Tastes like grapefruit, a lot of that red grapefruit, blood uh, grapefruit, it tastes like. Memphis, Memphis blood. Anyway, if you ever see that in Aldi's, get yourself a can of that. Which is very nice. One, yeah, £1.79 I think it is. That's not bad at all. I prefer that one. That tastes very nice. But this one's, it's definitely got like a, a ready tin in it. It's golden with a slight, I don't know if it's my imagination. But uh, yeah, it tastes like a grapefruit, the blood orange one. Very bitter at the back end. It's not bad at all. Very dry. A dry fill in your mouth. Brewed in sunny Scotland. Good old Scotland. But. I like that one. I like that one a lot. That one's very, very, very nice. Very fruity. Smells lovely. Oh, excuse me. It's a proper IPA. So, you know, it's not breaking the bank there. It's just like the old brew dog when they, f they first bought that out but it's very very nice so try that 
it's absolutely wonderful. Very nice. Anyway, don't forget to try the old lager. Geordie Lager. Don't forget to try that. Very nice. Very nice that is. It's worth a it's worth a go that. So give it a go. What a nice easy bit to do. Get that one. It's not a bad lager. And lagers are quite hard to do. So you're better off probably doing a golden owl or some other some sort of owl than that one. But that one turned out quite nice. So uh, anyway, you know it's time for all now. It's time to get out of here. It's time to ring that old bell. Last orders. And you've got any homes to go to? Just like that. Or just like that. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. Cheerio.